Hey, Crystal Wielders! Hey, welcome back to more Fall Fits in the City on the PS4. So in the last part, we did the Onion Knight. So, man, who was like, I don't know what, like, they kind of nerfed him a lot. Like, uh, like, yeah, he's a fast as fuck character, but I know this is a beta and all, but, like, before, some of the attacks were really linkable. Like, they're really good linkables. Now, like, I don't really see any of those links in here, and that's, that's really sad. I hope, they, I hope they change that in the main game. I hope it's just the beta, and he doesn't have his link attacks. So now we're gonna do Cecil Harvey from Final Fantasy IV, who is actually another Final Fantasy game that's actually on the DS. That's actually really good. Like, if you wanna play Final Fantasy IV, I recommend you play the P uh, the DS version. Like, yeah, like the original version, all that kind of good, but the DS version isn't 3D. The PS, like the original versions or like the PSP versions, they're kind of like two, they're 2D like pixel arts. The DS version is 3D, so I recommend like 3D because you know, I, I, I personally I prefer 3D than 2D. I personally prefer that. But actually, Final Fantasy IV was actually one of the first Final Fantasy games to focus on, like, the moon and all that. Like, I don't think any other game has something like it. Like, Final Fantasy IV focused on the moon and Luna and, like, you know, you, got to, you actually got to be on the moon like, and fight shit on the moon. Like, the final battle actually took place, I think it took place, like, on the moon. Like, the whole moon section was just, like, fucking amazing. Like, fucking amazing. And Final Fantasy IV, one of the biggest things I hated about Final Fantasy IV is that the characters quote unquote died. Now I say quote unquote because they don't really die. Almost nobody in Final Fantasy IV stays dead. They all come like, like you know, like freaking like, for example, in Final Fantasy in seven, when Aerith <laughs> Sorry! I'm sorry, it's brought back, brought back memories, it, it brought back memories! When Aerith dies, you know, she stays fucking dead. When Zack dies, Zack stays fucking dead. And like, who, who died? Like, I'm trying to remember like, who else dies. I don't think anybody important really dies in 9. 10? We're not even gonna get into that. We're not even gonna get into death and all that shit. We're not even gonna get into 10. We're not even gonna do that shit. 12, I haven't really... I'm still doing the series, so like, I don't really want to spoil anything for those who haven't seen the series. 13, we're also another one we're not going to get into, but I know, I think Shadow dies in 6, and someone else, I forgot, I forgot who else died, someone else died in 5, but they stay dead, they fucking stay dead, and 4, it's, they're not, like, even though they say they're dead, they're not really dead, even though it seems very, very unlikely that they survived, they somehow survived, like, for, like, for like example, Yang and Sid, they both Spoiler alert. Like, spoiler alert for those who haven't played Final Fantasy IV and I haven't known anything about it. Okay, spoiler alert. Sin and Yang fucking exploded. They fucking exploded, yet they somehow survived? That makes sense. Like, Yang sacrificed himself by locking himself in the room and, like, staying in there to prevent the explosion from killing everyone else. He stayed, he locked himself in the room and, he, and basically went to the computers and basically did something to the system so that it didn't kill everybody and everything around it, it just exploded in that small room. He did that, yeah, he basically did that, apparently he survived, apparently fairies came at the last minute and rescued him before he died. And it's like, wait, what? And Sid, Sid, no, they were being chased by the Red Baron. They are being head on chase by Goldeth. And basically, Sid jumped off the airship Basically, as they're coming up from hell, as, basically, it, it, it wasn't what it wasn't like hell, but it was hell. Technically, it was hell. We're gonna call it hell. As they're coming up from hell, they're being chased by the Red Baron. They're being chased by Golbat. In order to prevent them from catching up, what Sid does, he jumps off the side of it, falling down with two grenades in his hand. It was like, take this, Golbat! And basically explodes, killing himself and destroying the ship, the freaking ship that chased them in the process. But apparently, nope, Sid's not fucking dead. He turned out, he survived at some point, even though holding two grenades, holding two grenades in his hand until they both, I repeat, they both exploded. We saw them both explode. Nope, apparently survived. Well, what about the twins? The two twins who sacrificed their lives to save the entire party. As the walls were closing in, the two twins realized the only way to prevent the wall from closing and killing everyone is to prevent, like, a forbidden spell. So, so, something like break, they, they, they basically casted some sort of break or stone spell to basically imprison themselves in stone and prevent the wall from closing and killing them. But in the process, killing themselves, killing themselves and trapping them in stone. Apparently, nope, they didn't die. Apparently, no, someone came 
and like, you know, cast like stone or some shit like that and prevent them from dying, it's it's like, what, what the fuck for, what the fuck? But here we go guys, show you guys a full match with Cecil Harvey. Cecil is a perfect for airborne skirmishes as a, as a paladin and for minimal threat on the ground as a dark knight. Switching between these two also enhances his attributes for a time, so remember to switch jobs periodically. So yeah, Cecil, ooh, starring job, paladin, yeah, because you have this, yeah, in the in Final Fantasy IV, spoiler alert, you start off as a Dark Knight. You start off as, like, ooh, Holy Flame or Lewis Blast. Well, nah, Holy Flame. But, and you start off as a Dark Knight. Ooh, yeah, see, you start off as a Dark Knight. But later on in the game, you become a Paladin. How does that work? I have no fucking clue. Greetings. Greetings. I won't forget, I won't forget this. Forget this. But yeah, basically, apparently, like, you know, he relinquished his darkness and evilness. And basically, you know, became a Paladin. And that was pretty much it. Like, in the game, you couldn't switch between Dark Knight and Paladin. Like, once you become a Paladin, you couldn't become a Dark Knight. Like, it, it was unavoidable. Like, you like you basically get rid of all your Dark Knightness and become a Paladin. But like, pretty much it, like, it would be so cool if you actually switch back between Dark Knight and Paladin. Like, you know, use Dark Knight abilities and then switch to Paladin. Focus! Focus! Yes, focus on your ass kicking. Keep your wits about you and we have not to fear. We have not to fear, but fear itself. Greetings. And, the Greetings. and Muhammad coming loose. That's one thing to fear. Ah, sh oh, he had to drop on me. Shit. I should have saw it coming. Alright. What the fuck you think you're doing over there? I see you, bitch. Who the fuck? Oh, oh, Vaughn? What? You can't, you couldn't do that in fucking 554. The shit. I've got Vaughn. Give me oil. So Paladin is very good for aerial, while Dark Knight is super good for like ground. Wait, I can't do that. Dude, 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 that's what I'm trying to do. Holy boy! The fuck? What the fuck? I thought that was only a Dark Knight move. What? That's only a wait. I can't believe that. That's actually only a in the old one. That was only a Dark Knight move. You can now it's like me. anyone can use it now. Yeah, get me straight, dude. The light guides me. The light will guide me. The light will guide me. Dude, take back there. Light, get me straight, dude. Dark Knight, time power of evil. <laughs> Dark flame, dude. Ah, shit, ah. You think I'll take me out that easily? Oh. No. Weaklings. Oh. Oh, that's a shit move. Oh, I hate that move so much. Yeah, the dark. Yeah, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you want to play it on? Shane Jobs. I'll handle that one. I shall be your shield. Light. Give me fright. Oh. Holy flame. Don't let up. We are on the cusp of victory! Yes, we're on the cusp of victory. Alright, uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to do like something cool. Waiting your word. Waiting your word. Light! Uh, Fuck, I'm trying to do the, I'm trying to let light give me strength. Uh, uh, light! Give me strength! BAM! Uh, holy flame! Light! Give me strength! Dude! Change jobs. Uh, you can leave that one to me. I said change jobs! Huh, Dark Knight! Dark Blade! I'll handle that one. Yeah. You can leave that ah, one to me. Ah, oh. Vaughn, you little sky power piece of shit. Get over here. Oh. Come on, Cecil. Let's do this. Mighty strike! Me. Call forth our summon. Is that right? Call forth a summon. I don't know how to call forth Fill it. Fill your lungs with the briny sea! Fill your lungs. Leviathan! Sea serpent! Summon. I'll handle that one. Dark Blade! I'll handle that one. Ah, uh, Fine, you wanna play? You wanna play? Let's play. Uh, and some, another thing, I don't know why the Paladin is a lot, like, faster than the Dark Knight. Holy Blade! Oh, no! Impossible! Huh. Nothing can match the power of Paladin. Na na da da da! My courage shall see me through to this journey's end. And to the moon we shall go! Na 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 na! 
with light. I won't forget this. Thank you. Till next we meet. May fate unite us. I won't this. forget this. May the power of the light be with you. Da yeah, for some reason, I don't know why, but the pal is a lot faster than the Dark Knight. Like, you, you noticed that, right? When I was running around as the Dark Knight, he was a lot slower than the pal did for some reason. I don't know why that was. It was just it's fucking weird. Like, oh, what the shit? Mm, so that was Cecil, everyone. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think of Cecil? Like, I know that his, his abilities are kind of, uh, uh, like, you know, hit or miss. Like, he's a, like, if you, if you know how to use him, he's a good character if you know how to use him well. Like, if you know, oh, excuse me, if you know, like, how to switch between Dark Knight and Paladin, like, on the fly like that, and do it strategically, he's a really good character to have, but, eh, I, I stick with, I stick with Cloud, Titus, you know, Ladon, and Squall. Like, the, on the PSP version, every character from 6 and up, I dominated. I fucking dominated. Like, like legit. If I, you see me, if, I, if you see me in the city, like back then, if you saw me on the PSP, and like, if I pick like you know Onion Knight or you know X Death or Golbez or anybody that isn't like the Don Squall, Tyus or Cloud, right? If I pick anyone other than that, I would, I'm not serious. I was just like fucking around. I was bored. But the second you saw me pick up like Tyus, the second you saw me beat Tyus. Yeah, GG. Yeah, fucking, just fucking GG. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> GG. So let me know what you guys thought of Cecil, and let me know, like, what you guys think about him. Like, is he a cool character to have, or like, uh, hang on this. So we'll come back, guys. We'll be doing Bart Kowser from Final Fantasy V, and hopefully, hopefully, we get to hear about on the big break. That's like, that's the one thing I want to hear. I want to see Gilgamesh in this. I really want to see Gilgamesh in this. He, he was actually kind of a fun character. Like, he was, <laughs> he was a fun character to play as. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and may the power of the lights crystal of the crystal's light be with you all. This celestial what's it? Then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But we tried to use